Hey, what's happening, everybody? So should you use Samsung apps on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or should you use Google apps? Now, before I even really even jump into this, what I'm going to say is I recommend you use both and know how to use both, especially with all the available space that's on this device. It's not going to hurt anything to do that. But with all that being said, here's the deal. I like the Samsung apps, for example. You can see this is my Samsung app homepage, right? Reminders, notes, wearable modes, calculator, my Samsung weather app, and that widget I have right there, a real useful widget, right? Here's the deal, though, and here's the elephant in the room regarding Samsung apps. For example, I love Samsung Notes, right? I really like Samsung Notes a lot, actually. Got a lot of cool stuff going on with it. Here's the problem. Now, whenever I switch Android phones and I come over here and I'm using a Google Pixel, guess what? Guess what doesn't, guess what doesn't work? Samsung Notes does not work on this device. Now, even though it is an Android phone and this is an Android phone as well, guess what? You cannot use Samsung Notes on other Android devices. And the same thing with, and this is another app I like a lot as well, the Samsung Calendar. You cannot use the Samsung Calendar on your Google Pixel. Now, I know a lot of people would say, well, why would you want to use the Samsung Calendar on the Google Pixel? Well, if you ever use the Samsung Calendar, you'd understand why. It's intuitive, it's nice, and it just looks good, okay? Now, here's the deal. If you were only going to use Samsung apps, you need to be like me then, all right? Because let me tell you something. I want to tell you all right now. I will always have a Samsung phone in my hand no matter what. I mean, it would have to be something catastrophic for there not to be a Samsung phone available to me to use. For example, I got my S23 right here set up exactly the way my S24 is set up. So if this S24 goes down, I got my S23, right? But with all that being said, if you don't know for a fact if you're going to be able to use a Samsung phone, I highly, highly recommend that you use the Google apps. They're highly intuitive anyway. Look, I'm a tech reviewer. I understand that, right? So I'm going to switch from, even on my iPhone, I have Google apps, big time. And of course, on my Google Pixel, of course, I have the Google apps, right? But you'll see something. I do have the Samsung internet over there. That works. It works on this just fine. All right. And if we look a little more, I thought I had it there for a while. I might've took out, I might've took it off. I had the Samsung wearable app on here, but that's just another story. What I'm trying to tell you all is, unless you know for a fact you are going to be able to hardcore have a Samsung Galaxy in your hand, then I, I do not recommend that you stay stuck using only the Samsung apps. Yes, the Samsung apps are terrific on a Galaxy phone. They make sense. They match. But if you keep up with what's going on in the tech world, you'll know that Samsung isn't even hardcore Samsung themselves. They have Microsoft going on. And they have a ton of Google integration going on inside of their UI. For example, you got Samsung pretty much making Google Messages the default message messaging app now. So that is just what I got to say to you all, right? So Samsung apps are terrific, but the Google apps can be used on a Google Pixel, of course, on an iPhone, on a Motorola, Whatever other Android phone or whatever even iPhone you're going to switch to, at least you'll have that continuity. So with all that being said, yes, I love the Samsung apps. You can see what I got going on there. All right. I showed you guys my Samsung home screen. I got the good lot going on, all that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to business and maintaining things that I got to maintain, I'm going to be using the Google apps. It's just the way it is. Even on the iPhone, yes, it's real cute to use the Apple apps. But at the end of the day, we're going to be using the Google apps on the iPhone as well because it's a Google world. It's just the way it is. Not to mention, Gemini Live is so awesome. And if you guys haven't used Gemini Live yet, then you guys are really missing out. Let me come over here. Let me come over here. Let me come over here. Let me tap on that right there. All right. So, yeah, it was about to start a conversation. But anyway, if you guys have any more special requests, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. 
and I will catch all of you in the next one. Take care.